Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Cam Gaffarian. Well, good morning. How are you all doing? <laughs> well, thank you so much. I want to, I'm um, grateful to Third Way for inviting me to uh, talk to all of you. Um, my name is Cam Gaffarian. I'm the uh, CEO, founder, and owner of a company called X Energy, and we're in advanced nuclear, if you all haven't guessed yet. Um, yeah, you know, my talk in seven minutes is to talk about four things. Who are we, what we're trying to do, where we're trying to go, and what are our challenges? Those four areas. Um, first, in terms of who we are, um, just to tell you who I'm not, I'm not a nuclear scientist or nuclear engineer or uh, an en energy person. Who I am is more of a space cadet. Uh, my career has all been in the space business. And in fact, uh, I run a few other organizations that are space related. There's a company I run called SGT, where we're the second largest uh, services provider to NASA as a whole. We're pretty much at all the centers, and anything that's space-related, we're involved with not only with uh, NASA, but uh, you know, um, uh, other federal government, Department of Defense, Department of Interior, Commerce, Transportation, and others. Uh, so that's one company. Uh, another company called Axiom Space, where uh, we are launching the first private uh, commercial space station, and uh, we're, our idea is that that will be done by 2021. Uh, the reason I mentioned the other two companies, like what is a space guy doing in advanced nuclear? <laughs> um, well, it was about 2009, and uh, I was really inspired to do something different. Uh, something different not only for our country, but for our planet. Um, and one of the reasons I got really inspired to do this, I have a school in Africa. It's in Kinshasa, uh, Democratic Repo Republic of Congo. One of the poorest country capitals in the world, and my school is in one of the poorest neighborhood. Uh, I have 700 kids, and we go from grade one to grade seven. So when you go there, you see that people uh, not only have education, there is no clean water, there is no electricity, and when you don't have electricity and you don't have clean water and you don't have education, the standard of living nonetheless is, is not good. And many of those factors, along with other things, sort of inspire me that we gotta do something different. Uh, the Einstein theory of insanity is continuing to do the same thing, expecting a different result. And my firm belief is that we all sort of, not only nationally, but globally, are walking to the edge of a cliff, <laughs> not realizing it. And I think there's an awakening that is needed. And so for me, it started, you know, as a space person coming back and say, well, what, what can I do? And my initial thinking, and you know, before I say that, I, I, had, I came up with four founding requirements or principles clean, safe, secure, and affordable. I wanted to have a system that is 100% clean, no carbon or any other kind of emission. Wanted to make sure that it's 100% safe. I'll come back to this 100% safe issue. Uh, also wanted to make sure it's secure from proliferation perspective. And also wanted to make sure it's affordable. Because if you create a business and it, the business is not sustainable, then you haven't really done anything. Those are the four requirements. And my idea initially was to really go the hydrogen route. And soon I realized that uh, that's not the way to go because our economy is not ready for that. And through some amazing synchronicities got connected to M MIT and others. And very quickly I came to the advanced nuclear uh, reactor solution as the only way that they can really solve this problem uh, I'm not against renewables or anything else. It's just that I think that needs to be part of the uh, solution because, you know, by 2050, we're going to be 10 billion people. So if you, if, even if you forget about the climate change and you forget about all the other aspects, we just can't meet the planet's need just by renewable and fossil fuel. We've got to have to have another solution. 
right? And very quickly, I came to the, as I said, the advanced nuclear reactor. And from there, uh, I came to high temperature gas reactor. And the main reason is because I think that's the closest solution to deployment. I uh, started it in 2009, and uh, so far I have put in $32 million of my own money into the business. We were very fortunate in winning an FOA uh, funding opportunity grant from Department of Energy along with TerraPower, and we're working on that. Uh, our three top strategies going forward are deployment, deployment, deployment. Uh, just like real estate is location, location, location. I think it's time that the focus needs to be put on deployment. We've done enough research, we've done enough dancing. Uh, my, my focus is as soon as possible, and my, uh, if you all have read Good to Great, my big, hairy, audacious goal is by 2025 to have a reactor in place going forward. So uh, the system we're working on is a pebble bed modular reactor is a 2,000 megawatt uh, thermal, about 80 megawatt electric. Uh, we've done quite a bit of research on it. Uh, by mid-2018, we are uh, hoping to go with a pre-application to uh, NRC. Uh, and um, um, you know, as I said, my BHAG is by 2025 to hopefully have the system ready. If not by then, definitely before 2030. So what I wanted to do is, uh, by the way, the, the, some of the features of this system is it's road transportable, right? And uh, as you know, with advanced nuclear, the size uh, is much smaller than traditional nuclear reactor. And one of the reasons that I went with a high temperature gas reactor, uh, especially pebble bed, because I really believe that is intrinsically safe, as you all know and it's what I call meltdown proof. So that was one of my main requirements of going with that system. So with the limited time I have is, what are our challenges? There are three, three, three areas that I wanted to focus on. Number one, I really want to challenge our country, and with that, uh, different agencies within our uh, federal government to focus on deployment. I know there's lots of research and uh, analysis going on, but I think we need to really focus on deployment. Uh, many people here have talked about other countries being ahead of us, uh, such as China and Russia. In order for us to get ahead, we really need to have that focus on deployment. The second challenge I have is that I really believe we need to have a private-public partnership in order for advanced nuclear to be successful, for my company to be successful have won the grant has helped us tremendously as a force multiplier for us to go forward. But in order to get there, I really believe we need a, a private-public partnership. Uh, the third one is regarding NRC. And my challenge is that um, the, the concept that I'm introducing is fixed price, fixed time. Uh, if you go to all the other federal government agencies and you have an application to them, you know how much it's going to cost, and you know how long it's going to take. I think it's about time that NRC sort of adopt the same sort of concept where, uh, you know, we know how, how much it's going to cost and how long it's going to take in order for us to be successful. Those are the ch challenges we have. Um, I really appreciate the time. Thank you so much, and may the force be with you. Thank you. Thank you.